Welcome back to the Yink software tutorial series. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set up your canvas, which is really important for making sure the material you're cutting matches the canvas size. This helps you avoid any issues that can come up if the sizes don't line up during cutting. All right, let's get started. When you click on the canvas button, you'll see a dialog box pop up. Now, there are two options here. One, the first option is Select, where Yink gives you some common PPF sizes to choose from. The default canvas size is set to 1520 by 15,000 millimeters, which is the most common size for PPF. For most of you, this will work just fine, but if you're using a different material, you can just select another option from the list. Two, the second option is Custom. This is where you can manually enter your own dimensions if you're working with a special size. Just type the numbers in the format like 1520 asterisk 15000 and don't worry about typing MM since the software uses millimeters by default. Now, here's a tip. Even if your material size is a bit different, let's say you're working with 1400 millimeters wide material, it's usually best to stick with the default canvas size. Instead of changing the canvas, you can go to super nesting later on and set the nesting width to 1,400 millimeters. This means that after super nesting, the layout will be optimized so that the total width doesn't exceed 1,400 millimeters, making sure everything fits perfectly within your material. This way, you won't have to worry about any part of the design going beyond the width of your material, and you avoid issues with pieces spilling off the canvas. So, to recap, choose your canvas size, either from the preset options or by entering your custom dimensions. And if you're working with special material sizes, remember to use super nesting to adjust the layout width. That'll help keep everything running smoothly. And that's it. You've now learned how to adjust your canvas settings to fit your material perfectly. If you want to learn more tips and tricks, check out the other videos in this series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.